I'm a diva. <laughs> you can tell, right? My hair, the jewelry. What you don't know is I love huge gestures and I like to use superlatives. But guess what? I feel so happy and free playing big. And I never liked being small and feeling controlled. What do you think? We live in a society which tends to compartmentalize us and often makes us feel like very small cogs in a big machine. We feel isolated, we don't really trust each other, and we don't trust ourselves either. Guess what one way out of this misery is? Opera! Yes, that thing that so many people avoid at all costs. <laughs> yep. <laughs> because it's old-fashioned, it's kind of dusty, and it's irrelevant. Well, guess what? That big, old-fashioned thing could open you up to your own greatness. And you don't have to learn how to sing to do it. I know there are a lot of singers out here. When I go into an art museum and I see a great painting, I feel something in myself open and expand. Now, I can't paint like a master, but what he was feeling when he painted that painting, that magically transfers to me. And something inside me, which has always been great, starts to breathe, and it wasn't there a moment before. I'll tell you how I discovered opera. I was already 20 years old when I heard my first opera aria. It was a student recital, and the aria was Pace, Pace, Mio Dio, from La Forza del Destino. It means, God, grant me peace from the force of destiny. The pianist started to play. Ba-da-da-dum, ba-da-da-dum, ba-da-da-da-da-dum, ba-da-da-dum, ba-da-da-dum, ba-da-da-da-da-da-da. The force of destiny. And then the soprano started to sing. I'd never heard anything like it in my life. After a while, I noticed she was crying. I was crying. And I'd never felt so alive before. Well, I was hooked. Now, opera gave me the chance to travel the world. I got to live and work with people from many cultures. But far more importantly, it gave me permission to crack open the shell surrounding my deepest feelings. I was protecting them. I discovered there's incredible freedom in exposing who you really are. And then something else happened. Along the way, I noticed that the more I was comfortable, the more I was able to become vulnerable to my audience, the more empowered they were to experience their own vulnerability. Well, I got to experience emotions that I really didn't know I had within me. Now, I knew I could love, I knew I could be a victim, I knew I could be noble, but I found out I could be hateful, I could be vengeful, I could kill, I could be despicable. And guess what? I not only was having fun, but I discovered that was all me. <laughs> now, you know those feelings that we don't so much like to have in our personalities, they don't belong to that great person we're becoming? Hate, anger, fear, jealousy. Well, they help make us the glorious beings that we are. A great Indian dancer once asked his guru, if the guru could remove the dancer's anger, which he felt was destroying his life. And the wise guru said, yes, that's possible. But you know, you'll also lose your ability to dance. We're the sum of all of our parts. Now, we're not even acquainted with most of them. Our society works partly because we don't immediately and without any filters just express whatever we feel. But oh my God, what a price we pay. There's a giant sleeping within, and we're not about to wake him. We know that he's going to be very powerful, and he's kind of terrifying. But when we see 
not only great art, but we see anything that seems out of the uh, reach of most of us, that giant starts to rumble within. You know why we like to watch the Olympics? We're living that ourselves. We know intuitively that we are so much bigger than we play in our everyday life. So we play small because society has taught us that that works. But opera can let you play big. And those figures in opera, in my opinion, are archetypes. They're parts of us that live deep under our surfaces, and they're very powerful because we keep them down. And when we learn to bring them up and look them in the face, they lose that terrifying aspect. So opera can actually help us heal and become whole. We can even learn to feel true compassion for others because we learn to feel true compassion for ourselves. And then we can honestly say, Namaste, the divine in me, salutes the divine in you, and knows that we are one. So my question today is, do we want to play small? Do we want to live on the surfaces of our lives? And as the same great guru said, one day you die like a cockroach. Or do we want to start to heal and be whole? Opera's been a vehicle for me to discover parts of myself I didn't know were there and to learn to love the whole person that I am. So what's yours? How do you want to discover your own magnificence? I told you that I love singing because it allows me to open up my soul to other people. And now I'd like to take this opportunity to open up my soul to you with a song which has all the depth and all of the humanity of every great opera aria. <clears throat> Street. 